May I point out a few things about this particular adventure that may prove problematic? Well, firstly, you don't have a boat capable of such a voyage. Not yet. Such matters are subject to change. I didn't have a wife at one time. Now I have a beautiful one. <laughs> Secondly, you have never been much further than Falmouth. I've also never walked to London, but I imagine the same stride I employ daily didn't carry me there. Given enough time, sailing is no different. Well, then there is the fact that this man who is striding to London also has a wife and children who have come to rely on him for this roof over their heads and plates of food in front of them three times daily. Of course. But those are the givens in the equation, one's obligations. How romantic, says the obligation sitting here. What have I done in all these years? Don. You have done so much. You've served your country. You've held a post on the borough council. You've invented things. You've engineered them into existence from pure imagination. I don't want to make devices that allow others to go off and have all the remaining adventures. All right, but then what about the company? What happens to electron utilization if you just sail away? I'll consider for just a moment the recognition attendant to such a voyage. Would not all that accrue directly to the value of the company? To us? Larger house, larger bank account, no, smaller problems. No, we hardly problems. need a larger house. And more than the material gains, it would result in children who are proud of their father for doing what no other man in the county would even contemplate. I think I can win this race, Claire. <laughs>